How many ladies are you falling for at once right now? It's like, no, right now we're just hooking and making content hooking. I'm not doing that. <laughs> hooking up with chicks and just like hanging out and uh, we're just making content and whatnot. So we're just kind of doing that right now. We're new to the area. So we're just like linking and making friendships. We're not hooking. <laughs> we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing that. So anyway. Uh, how did you initially get into the relationship like this? Did you always know you wanted to be like this? Uh, so no. Have you guys ever seen that show on like TLC? I always forget the name. It's like some polygamous show. Oh, Sister Wives. Mm, that's it. Sister Wives. So I saw him and he had like four wives and I was like, oh, that's super cool. But like, what if they were gay? And so I kind of like switched it around and then because like I liked women at the time and we've been dating for like two years, but like I kind of miss women like all the time. So I saw this show happening. It was just starting to get big. And I saw this like non-monogamous multiple person relationship that was like all under one household and they had a bunch of kids. And I was like, if they can do it, why can't we? So we kind of talked about it and whatnot. And if you guys are, there's a lot of people in there, at least like 200 people. All right. I should make a TikTok about this, but so I was talking about adding another person to our relationship, but since he was straight, I didn't want him dating straight women and like going this way. And since I was like, bi and like gay, I didn't want to be going this way. So I didn't want to be dating different women. Say if he got like a straight woman and like we were growing together and I like really like this guy and say he got with like a straight woman. He would kind of be like leaning this way and if she was like pulling him and was like you shouldn't be with that other girl because she was straight then he would like be really leaning out towards of the relationship and if say i got with a lesbian type more woman to woman type woman she would be like oh that man ain't shit blah 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 blah, blah. he ain't nothing you should be with me maybe i'd listen she's pretty aggressive so i'd be going this way and eventually we would be pulling outward and since i liked him hence the 12 years, I was like, I think that we should like grow together somehow. So I was like, what if, since we've been together for two years, I was like, we have a lot of common interests. I was like, what if we found like a girl that could like, kind of like combine us and like, like, just keep growing together. So that's what it was. It was a sister wife show. And then I figured how we could make it a little gay. And then I didn't want to be like branching off to like, say he would have like four different wives but have to like spend different nights nights with them like i didn't want my time divided i still wanted to be with him because i liked him but uh yeah so we just decided on maybe a bisexual woman who would also like him and like me and then maybe we would get something but maybe not i mean we've been doing this for 10 years and we haven't found someone perfect yet but so maybe it's just a unicorn, like they say, that it's just this magical creature. So we'll keep looking and we'll keep dating, but that's how it started for real. Okay, if anybody said anything earlier, I totally missed it. So write your questions again here now. We're gonna read them. Do you guys have like another guy involved? No, since I said I was bisexual, I wanted another girl. So we're looking for another girl to satisfy me. He's not into other guys and I already have a guy. So we're not into adding other guys into the relationship. Who initiates the conversation with whoever you're adding? Uh, so technically, like, it's mostly online nowadays. And girls and the internet are so, like, just, just ignorant and shifty. And they, I have, like, ADHD and, like, I smoke weed. So, like, I have a short-term memory loss. And when these girls want to message you, like, once every three days and, like, not give a shit, then I kind of don't give a shit. And then... They act like girls who just get hit on all the time. So when you're like, oh, where are you from? She's like, I'm from Tennessee. That's great. Now I have to ask you another question. Like a dude. She's just like waiting to be a princess. So it's like it gets a little stale when I try to hit on her or I'm trying to talk to her. And I'm like, just anything. Like I ask her a question and she just like answers it. And I'm just like, cool. You've never asked me one thing about me. So after like the fifth question, I'm just like, flick this bitch. I was like, I'm done here. 
But sometimes she's like really hot or she's really cool or whatnot. So like I usually leave it to Steven now to do the whole conversation thing because he's just like a dude. When a girl just doesn't write back, he's just like hits her again. Like, yo, blah, 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 blah. And she's, she likes us and she's cool, but she's just used to being a girl that like gets hit on all the time that she doesn't understand how to reciprocate the like the transaction of love to another woman. So in the comment section, when a lot of girls are like, I feel like she doesn't like me. Like, I get that. I get that. Girls just don't know how to just like, like hit on a girl like you get hit on. Like they're so used to being hit on as girls and like being hit on by men that they just like accept the love. Like, oh yes, you can touch me or you can say I'm beautiful. But to like say, hey, let me text you back or something like that. It gets, it gets a little stale a lot of the time. So I usually leave everything up to him. And so when you girls are talking about like, I feel like girls don't like me that much. Like girl, I feel you. I swear, it's just like a, a miscommunication of girl on girl world, so. All right, next question. I'm probably doing, um, say, we'll say like three more, so. There's a quite a few of you guys in here, so we'll hang out. Um, so right now, it's just me and my man. She actually doesn't live with us. We haven't been dating a girl right now long enough to live with us, so it's just us. So we're kind of just celebrating our 12 years, and I think we're gonna go out to dinner later. We did brunch, but it's just us. How do you find another girl? Sometimes I do uh, TikToks that do like connection videos, so you can post your city, state, status where you say who you are, what type of relationship you are in, and what type of relationship you're looking for, say a single girl or a man or blah, blah, blah. I do those posts. I haven't done one in a minute because we've been banned and blocked and shadow banned and whatnot, but we're on a new account. I'm probably gonna do one this week, so make sure that you guys look out for that. Or if you're just in my comment section and you guys are just like, hey, I'm a single female looking for a couple, or I'm a couple looking for a single female in Indianapolis or California or something like that. Just throw out flags all the time. Like, I'm not sad about it. You guys just use my comment section on any video to just reach out and ask for people or talk to people or whatnot like that. So, uh, let's see. Thank you so much. Who was that? Gemma Williams. Thank you, boo. Uh, who is standing behind you? I hope no one. <laughs> Was there somebody back there? There seriously should be nobody back there. Um, let's see. I believe I live close to you. I saw you on Tinder. No, you didn't. I keep getting banned off Tinder like every like week that I sign up to it. So um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. One on one with your man compared to how often do you sleep with other people? Uh, so like I was just saying, us and our girlfriend are not together right now. So it's mostly us here all the time. So we can do whatever we want, whenever we want. And sometimes we hang out with girls who are like, they sleep in all morning like I used to. This is like single life. And then so while they're sleeping, sometimes we fuck. But I don't know. Whenever we want to. And then whenever they're here, if they want to fuck, like, let's fuck. So. If you guys are just joining, I'm drinking jalapeno tequila. Oh, I made it myself. I just put some jalapenos in a glass jar with like a sweet tea like opener thing at the bottom. I put some jalapenos in there. I poured a gallon, not quite a gallon, but a whole bunch of tequila in there. Let it sit for like eight hours to like a week or something and it is delicious. Okay, let's see some more questions. Who's got something that's coming in? Whiskey and OJ, I couldn't, I could never. Um, Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, I'm trying to scroll back and you guys' comments are coming in way too fast. Um, ah, I seriously can't with these nails. Hold on, what's the difference between swinging and polyamory? So we get that question a lot. Swinging is more of like a party type sense of husband and wife go out and they go to 
to like a hotel or a party or some type of meetup type thing and they do like a two on two type swap or maybe like a party and they just kind of like kind of just let go and it's not really like rules of the night maybe they have like a few rules but it's just kind of like a like a free-for-all type of night evening or whatever and they may have a few rules but polyamory is like more of a lot of rules and looking for a relationship when swinging is just like the night of like having fun and type of thing like that so maybe like a few rules but like craziness and swinging to like do whatever you want whoever wherever what's ever arranged in the couple but polyamory is more about looking for a relationship to set a few more rules and then later on when you're in the relationship then you can just kind of do whatever you want so i don't know if that makes sense